Hello, Captain Bill Gustin with Miami-Dade Fire Rescue Department with a roll call tip on lessons learned from a close call that we experienced on our department. Companies on my department responded to an automatic fire alarm in a 12-story residential building for a smoke detector activation in the penthouse elevator machine room. Upon reaching the machine room, they smelled something hot, no smoke, but just like a hot metal smell. We followed our protocols and opened the main disconnects for both elevators. Upon doing so, the elevator that was stopped on the first floor with its doors open proceeded upwards out of control with the shaftway door and the elevator car door in the open position. That elevator reached the top of the shaft and crashed into the overhead. Its counterweight heading in the opposite direction crashed into the pit. We now know what happened. The break on the hoisting shiv that holds the elevator in place when it reaches a floor destination malfunctioned. And as a result, the elevator had been running for a week, maybe two weeks. We don't know. With the brake applied to the point that the brake lining was worn away, it was metal on metal, hence the smell of something hot in that machine room. When we disconnected the main switch for the elevator, we did not know at that point that the only thing that was holding that elevator in place was the torque of the motor. When we disconnected the power, the brake was no longer capable of holding the elevator in place, and it traveled upwards out of control. We almost had a firefighter cut in half because of this. So what did we learn? We've talked to many people in the elevator industry and some folks in the fire service that have a lot of experience with this. Never disconnect the elevator without first making sure that there's not a hot metal on metal type of situation where if you do disconnect the elevator, the brake would fail to hold it in position because you could have an out of control elevator. Again, it's very important that the first step we take in an elevator rescue is shut off the main disconnect, lock out and tag out. But before you do this, make sure that the elevator is not dependent on strictly the brake to hold it in place. This is Bill Gustin with Miami-Dade Fire Rescue. Thanks for watching.